The views expressed in this video are that of a hobbyist, not of a business owner or a commercial operation. Clear as mud? Hey, it's me again. There's a surprise, right? I know everybody keeps asking me why I always say that. I'm going, well, it's easier than saying, um, hi, this is Larry Athey with another update because that sounds stupid. So at any rate, uh, I finished this up last night, or at least I got the top rails on there, but it was too dark to shoot a video last night when I got done with that, so I'm doing that now. Learned a few lessons along the way, but nothing big. Um, as you can see, I have one of these other rails here that has the holes <laughs> botched up. And the reason is I had to rotate that and re-drill the holes. I found that it's easier that um, if you drill the holes in these front and back top rails and then drill one hole in this one, get it marked or get it mounted, come back to this end and then drill from the bottom up into that one, things line up a whole lot better. Uh, what else? You'll probably notice that there's something funny in the ends of these pipes and those are wooden dowels I, or pieces of a wooden dowel. Um, they're about three inches long. I put those in there so when you crank the bolts down, it doesn't uh, squash the end of that pipe because these are only uh, two and a half inch carriage bolts and then the aircraft nuts on the bottom it doesn't leave any sticking out so you kind of have to crank them down a bit and you don't want to crush those pipes. Let's see anything else here. Um, that's about it for getting those top rails on for those that are following along. <clears throat> following along sorry. In the Google Hangouts, I had a lot of questions coming in asking um, why I went with this design, like with all the little canopy uh, attachments and fittings. And the reason for that is because I want things to still be adjustable after it's assembled. I'll explain what I mean here. Now, at the bottom here, I have to put 2x4s going across from front to back even with these and the reason for that is because the uh, gutters that are going to go left to right have to have something to rest on so that's why those are going to be in there but in order to make the water flow from left to right you have to raise this side all right and then Keep in mind there's also going to be a gutter going from front to back because it has to drain into a gutter that will run the full length of the greenhouse. So therefore you have to raise the front of this to make water flow backwards. Now if you do that all of your rails that your towers are going to be hanging on it's going to be all screwy. Well that's why those canopy adapters as you can see there's a nut welded in there for a set screw or a set bolt whatever you want to call it after you get your base adjusted how you need it then you can raise and lower the corner pieces to level out your towers see how that works and then you'll also see back there see how the horizontal strut in the greenhouse does not line up with the tower rack because this side of the rack is sitting on a hump in the ground. I didn't have um, a bunch of heavy equipment or a gas-powered ground tamper to level out the ground. I figured it was easy enough to shim up things underneath if I need to level them out. But see, that's another thing. You can tell that it's already not level. But I can take those pieces and slide them upwards, lock them down, and then they will be plumb or level again. So there's a, a method to the madness. Can't really think of anything else. Um, well, I guess that's 
another reason that these are on here if you need to plumb up the uprights you can do that as well but that's why I did it the way that I'm doing it is because I want things to be adjustable when I'm done rather than all made out of wood and in a static position so I think I'm gonna cut this off here because I don't have anything else to contribute oh well, yeah I guess so see how the sump tank is raised up out of the ground I gotta dig that out about two more inches to sink it down so the gutter can drain into it but I think I'm pretty much done with this this weekend I'm gonna go into town we'll get someone to take me into town that has a pickup because I don't own a pickup I should own one but not yet um, so I can get the two by fours and the gutter and all that other good stuff and I should have the first rack ready to plumb in later oh that's another thing people were asking how I'm gonna get water to it um, right between each of these here it's gonna be one inch PVC with multiple drops in it I will show that in better detail later but yeah uh, the two outside rows on each each side are gonna have a one inch PVC line going down the middle with eight drops in it that feeds each tower but that's it I have to get out of here I left my fans running because I didn't want to barbecue my brain again god that was hot last time so take it easy I'll catch you around uh, possibly Sunday depends on how much I can get done this weekend got a full plate in front of me so that's all bye